in love with you. I thought you said you could hold a drink. Come on, palm time, you're going all swivel-eyed. Don't go. Please. It's not the booze talking. I'm deadly serious. Where's this come from? It's always been there. You must have noticed. No, I haven't. I know you don't think I'm repulsive. Oh, come on, we're both married. Most people are. That doesn't matter. Well, it matters to me and Kevin. It matters to Justine. Oh, come on, you've got kids. You know what it's like. What? What's like? Being married. Justine and I are together because of convenience. It's an alliance. It'll hold until Gemma leaves home and the whole thing will fall apart. Look, there's no life. There's no passion. Joint interests, that's all. Could you be more romantic? Oh, I'm romantic, all right. Just not at home. You don't love Justine. It's dead in the water. It's not enough for me. I want life. I want you. What's home? What's Kevin? Don't answer it. Well, he's my husband. I always talk to my husband. Can I have a bit of privacy, please? Kevin? Oh, Sophie, what do you want? So go on. What do you reckon? Well, at least give me a minute to get used to the idea. You've got a good feeling about this, haven't you? All right, go on, put me out of my misery. Is it a no way? Oh, yeah, maybe. Well, it's a bit of both. I wasn't expecting this, so please don't pressurise me. I love you. What? I said, I love you. I do. Oh, come on, Vi, let's shack up together. Maybe. Really? I'll think about it. Oh, nice one. You know, it's about time I made my mark in that house. It's always been Todd's territory. I've been a visitor, and now I've got you there. You what? Well, he's always got what he wants, and now I've got you. Right, and that's supposed to make me want to move in with you? That <laughs> your brother got the train set, and so now you want me instead? No, that's not what I meant. Oh, get stuffed, Jason. You had a right go at me over that shampoo order. Well, I've said sorry, Candice. And you're nearly shouting at poor old Mrs. Bagler. Well, I haven't got all day, have I? Mm -hmm. OK, I've been a bit hair-triggered, but I really, I can't function unless I get to sleep. And the building that's going on next door to me, that would drive a saint dull alley, I'm telling you. When does it finish? Oh, I don't know. I'm not thinking about it. I've got a night off. Fred is cooking as we speak. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Now, you can stop your smirking, right? Fred is an old friend. He's not a paramour. Oh, aye. And does he know this, then? Yes, he does know this, then. <laughs> Look, I'd rather put up some noisy builders than some randy old butcher chasing after me with a marriage proposal. And you wonder why I'm a dirtbag, huh? <laughs> Go See you on. Later. See you. What did you say to him? It was Sophie. Say anything to her? If it had been him, I would have told him everything and he'd be racing round here to bounce you off the walls. Sure you would. You're pretty confident, aren't you? I told you how I feel. I just hoped you'd feel the same way. <sighs> everything was going so well. For you, not for me. Look, I'm not telling you this just to make you feel bad. It's torturing me. I've no choice. I've fallen in love with you. Well, I haven't fallen in love with you. You really think there's nothing between us? Nothing? Well, I had noticed you're attractive, but there's no special connection. I, I haven't encouraged you. I want you. Well, you can't have me because neither of us is free. Well, we're going to have to do something. I can't go on like this. Well, look, I've got a solution. Why, why don't we just forget we ever had this conversation? We'll just never talk about it again. Because we're colleagues, aren't we? We're, we're friends, that's all. Sorry. I can't do that. You haven't tried. You're such a soppy sod. Tell her what's happening. Don't ask her. What, pack your bags, you're moving in? No, you've got to be subtle. Back her into a corner. All right. Is that the only language you understand, then, eh? Yeah. Don't be cheeky. I think we need something more macho, Roy. Have we got any raw mints for these alpha males? All beef products has to be thoroughly cooked. I've made that very clear. An order for later. We're working this evening. I'll send one of the lads over around closing time to pick it up with us, all right? Uh, uh, which? Uh, what one of the lads? Well, it depends who's for it. <laughs> what do you need change on that? Yeah, I'll stick it in with order, eh? 
What's he just said? I'm only from a few miles up the road. You should understand everything. I understand what you're saying, mate. No problem. I understand you. It's you I don't understand. What, me? Look, I speak totally normal. You hear it every day on the TV, innit? He said he's got a typical southern accent. It's him. I could get wound up by that. He says he could get wound up by that. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, babes, you're not trying hard enough. Why don't you get your ear in? You sound like a normal geezer. You said it's a matter of getting your ear in. Yeah, I think I get that. It's getting easy, you know. Oh, I'm enjoying doing this. Go on, say something else, see if I can get it. Forget it. I'm not a performer monkey. Oh, they are so easy to wind up. No, I really think Mum's really going to go for it. She don't teach a breath. Yeah, well, she's always encouraging self-expression. Touch her hand. <sighs> Did it come off? Ah, no longer looks like an abattoir for bats. It's quite funny, Dad. Well, for you, anyway. Shut it, you. I've got no problems with this one. Oh, thanks, Dad. Well, you've only got your hair to worry about. You protect me from her, won't you, Dad? Come on. We was all young once. In fact, when I was your age... You grew a moustache. You cheeky little tight. Come here, I'll give you a moustache. Get here. <laughs> How near to completion are you? Oh, pretty near. Not too for ages yet. What's the hurry? Oh, no hurry. Merely asking. I, I don't want any mistakes with this order. Roy, the sandwiches. How many mistakes can you have? Well, you wouldn't say that if you're a public health inspector. <sighs> yeah, but I'm not, am I? I'm kitchen skivvy going as fast as you can. When will they be ready? There. There you go. Done. Satisfied? Plenty of time for him to curl up just the way you like him. Roy, you'll be all right with Amy, won't you? I expect I will, yes. And Roy, no more signs, eh? Uh, the signs are for a very good reason. Why did they think that? Uh, um, no, they don't. They're just teasing. What kind of a world is it when a man can't invite an old friend to tea without accusations of dishonourable intentions? Tongues will be wagging thread. Sticky beaks round here like now better than a bit of gossip. Never a truer word. I say never a truer word. And it's honourable intentions they're on about. Like what? Well, you have got form. As what? A serial proposer. Nay, nay, I have been known to jump somewhat willingly into the abyss in the past, but it is in the past. Never do that again. I say never do that again. Life's bitter pills swallowed, digested. Oh, so you promise me you won't be getting down on one knee tonight? With my knees? Thought never two flights. <laughs> well, good, cos I just want a quiet one. Then you've come to the right place. Sit this cell down. Thank you. Although I do have one proposal to make. Oh, Fred. I propose an unusually ample gin and tonic. Oh! <laughs> Oh, well, that proposal is cordially accepted. I further propose that you compose yourself for one of the finest turned-out meals of your life. Oh, another accepted proposal, Fred. You're cooking tonight, yeah. aren't you? In more ways than one. <laughs> I could go on about angels camping on your tongue and other such hyperbole, but there's only one word to express what you are about to receive, and that is... Steak! Finest fillet steak. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Have we got a surprise for you? Hey, troublemaker. Oh, I'm not in the mood for surprises. Hi, Mum. What have you done? Damn yeah. I can see that. And oh, what's that stuff on your face? You know what it is? You look ridiculous. Thanks, Mum. Getting that off for starters. Mum, what are you doing? You think you can me. do what you want, don't you? So... You can't! Sal, <laughs> Sal, so, so, get off her! Get off her! What do you think you're playing at? I work so hard for this family. Everything I do is for you. Everything! And this is how you repay me, you ungrateful slobber! Must be stressed or something. What have you got to be stressed about? Oh, thanks. All sorts. Is it the job? I don't know. I don't think so. It's more responsibility than I'm used to, but I like that. You don't have to do it, you know. You don't sell. The money's handy, but there's more important things. <laughs> so you say. 
It is, so. It's a job. It's you, me and the family what count. That's what the money's for. <laughs> you wouldn't have said that ten minutes ago. No. Look, let's go out like we planned. I'll get changed. I don't care much for fancy restaurants, Sal. A plate of chips here and I'll be happy. Yeah, I know that. Well, let's stay in then. No. Cos my boss has booked it for us now. Let, let's use it. He won't mind. Let's go out, Kev. We need to talk. Oh, that we need to talk. No, we need to chat. We need to have a laugh. We forget about the flaming kids for once. Let's go out and get drunk. <laughs> OK, I'm all for that. <laughs> hey, you all right? Are you taking that off? Remove it. I'm not talking to you, you psycho. Hey, your mum said she's sorry. Rosie. Get off me. There it is. Have a little up there. You can see it along the top here. Have you looking, Sally? I've got the right one here, yeah. Yeah. She's up! Oh, oh thanks, Roy. There we are. We didn't have to bring these over. Vince was going to pick them up. Oh. I knew we'd bring it if I left it. Oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it? Half cup. Sorry. Right, shall we uh, check out then, eh? Yes, Oh, here we are. Are you chained? No, I'll give it a bit. Oops. Now, was that your fault or mine? I'm not entirely sure. Must have been yours, then. Uh, there appears to be a pound missing. Oh, well, no worries. I'll pick you up next time I'm in. He's told you he loves you and he wants you to move in. Where's your complaint? It was the way he asked. Oh, so it's a wording problem, is it? Listen, that's just Jason's gruff manly way. He's hardly going to ask you in rhyming couplets, is he? He can be romantic. Yeah, for a builder. You're lucky he can string a coherent sentence together. Asking you to move in with him properly is beyond uh, him. Come on, he's better than that. You know Ooh, that. Quick to his defence, I spy. You monster, you wheedled that out of me, didn't you? Listen, Uncle Sean sees all. Now, it's clear that you like him and you're only being Cathy cautious. <laughs> but you've got to get him to ask you again. Clear, is it? Absolument, chérie. That's French. Now, you could be subtle and hint but to save time, you're better off just telling him to ask you again. It's the only way I got him to stop using my toothbrush. Oh. Hiya. Yeah. Get a swallow, then. Oh, sorry, Sonny. It's cider in the park at your age. So did you fall over then? Uh, not much. Glided well, like an angel. She was quality. See that? Quality. <laughs> what language was that? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate, shame you going back to school. Calamity, mate. Can we sort it? You do what? You'll have to think about that once you've left. Yeah. It's all right for you. You're in line for Granny's hairdressers. I'd have to get some Mac job, and that's not going to happen. Um, that was like a secret. And it's, it's not for definite. I'll just skip my call. Oh, cute. Uh. <sighs> Listen to that. What? Exactly. Nothing. Oh, well, it's very quiet tonight. No traffic passing through. Sounds like a cobbled M6 on a bad day out there. As long as there's no building work, Fred, I am happy. That next door started playing his so-called music loudly, too. Throbs through yon wall like a pneumatic drill. Oh, dear, that's terrible. <sighs> it's all part of adolescence, I suppose. Day one, get spots. Day two, turn the stereo up. How about strong words? It'll not happen again. Well, I should hope not. Mind. Kids these days have it hard. What do you reckon? Part your head on to the side. In our day, you were a dangerous rebel. <laughs> Look at what they have to do now. Stick bits of metal in their faces. Hair all over shot. Blue scribble on the skin. Cheap rebellion everywhere you look. Blue scribble? Tattoos. Oh. <laughs> Used to be just for sailors. England's captain has a drawing on the back of his neck. Looks a right fright. I say a right fright. Do you know what we sound like? Two old pals chewing the fat. Two old people chewing the fat. Do we? I thought you'd come to cheer me up. Right, Roy, I'm off. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Leanne. No, it's all right. I'll get it. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Bye. Bye. Uh, I'm uh, afraid we're closed. 
thought you were bringing me that pound. Th there was no hurry. Sorry. Oh, right, what's going on? I'm fine, I can manage, thank you. The last thing I said to you before I left was no more signs. There, 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 there we are. Scott. What's the matter? Nothing, nothing, I'm sorry. Are you sure, right? Been a bit, been a long day, that's so. all. Nice of him, isn't it? Yeah. Laying on the shampoo for us. Yeah, I think he was buttering us up for something if he didn't know him better. You'll have to drink most of it, though. Why? Well, I can only have so much Ponzi wine. I'm going back to the beer. Did they sell it in here? Listen, if the customer demands it, they'll provide. You all right, aren't you? Yeah, of course I am. I'm still worried about Rosie. No, forget about that tonight. This is just you and me, out on the town. Let's have a toast. What to? Well, I just feel so lucky. I've got a beautiful wife, fantastic family, plenty of cash for the change. Things have never been so good. Well, to us then. To us. Oh, and one more. To our generous host of the evening, to Ian. Won't be a minute. You've only just been. It's no joke getting old. Oh, come on, you're barely past retirement age. It's not young, though, is it? Well, no, it's not. I mean, there's not many laughs in the ageing process, no, but when you think of the alternative... I remember, I... I used to imagine when I were a lad... age I'd be in year 2000 seemed... impossibly ancient. I never thought I'd make it. Well, you have. We both have. Yeah, but when you look back, I mean... Where's the time all gone to? Well, we all think that, Fred. I mean, you've still got a lot of life in you, you. Oh, come on, don't get all maudlin. I'm not being maudlin. I'm, I'm being realistic. I'm on the bus pass. Uh, you've done very well for yourself, Fred Elliot. In some ways. Mm. One thing I never imagined, growing old on my own. And this isn't leading to a proposal, by the way. <laughs> I always thought I'd, I'd have a partner by my side, sharing a day-to-day -day strain with me. Yeah, well, we all think that. I was there for Sybil. You were there for Alf. Who's going to be there for us? Oh, come on, Fred, now stop. Don't do this to yourself, love. Perhaps I should stop over. In Ashley's room? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'd like that. It'll brighten my day to see you at breakfast. And mine to see you. And we might as well give them flapping tongues some ammunition, huh? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not, indeed? I'm sorry about earlier. So am I. So am I forgiven? Yeah, of course. Am I? This is a violet. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and this is a violet cream. An old lady sweet for an old lady name. Oh, so not quite forgiven then. <laughs> yeah, of course. Because I want you to be my old lady. <laughs> I'm sweet on yo. Well, it was supposed to be you, but I couldn't fit it on. Thanks. <laughs> Please. I want to live with you. If you were the first thing I saw every day, I could cope with anything. And every day's got to be worth living with a start like that, eh? Thinking about you ain't enough for me. I want to be with you all the time as well. Please, Violet. I love you. I want to live with you. Is that a yes, sir? It's an... I'll think about it. I 
millionaire. Do you like that? Like what? Feeling like a millionaire. It's just an expression. I know I'm not one, but yeah, it's great for the evening. We seem to have spent most of our life worrying about money. Yes, well, not anymore. Since you got that job, we've stepped it up a division. No, I'm serious, Sam. Pushing nosy, pushing me. That's what we needed. I've raised my game and I like it. I feel like we're getting somewhere. I mean, when have we ever been in a place like this? That's all thanks to you. Yeah, but you couldn't do this every night, could you? Well, depends what's on telly. <laughs> but we could go back to how it was, couldn't we? Well, we could. If things didn't work out at Davenport's, we'd still be OK, wouldn't we? What's up? I've not been sacked, have you? No, I haven't been sacked. Why do you automatically think that? Well, I didn't. But something's not right, is it? You've only been half here all night. Kevin, there's something I have to tell you. What? I really do love you, you know. And I love you too. I love you and I love our life. <laughs>